this is a tip of the month video and I have been asked quite a lot of times if I cannot do something like a quick start guy, an easy basic tutorial for the actual end generation polar cutters. So here it is. I'm standing in front of an N137 Plus now and um, the main button switches will be the same on the Pro. Um, later on in the video if you watch the, the timeline a little bit closer if you go with a mouse over it then you can see that there are different chapters in this video and then you can switch directly to the beginning of the N Pro or N Plus whether is, uh, whatever is more important to you. So yeah, main switch is here located. You have to press the green button to start the main engine. We have yeah, as on every cutter, two cut buttons here. We have the hand wheel here. The hand wheel um, backgauge drive forward is um, pulling on the hand wheel. Pressing the knob is backgauge drive backward. And the fine adjusting in is um, to press the ring in and then to turn right or left side. So in the meantime, the software of the Plus generation has started up. Um, what else is important from the hardware? We have um, a switch, a hardware switch to activate the um, air cushion on the table. Now the air cushion is on. If I want to switch it off, I can use the right cut, uh, cut button. Yeah. That's all for the introduction and now you can um, take a look on the timeline and go to the chapter for the Pro or you can stay in this video. This video is about the basics to operate the N plus generation. So I will not dig into every button but I will give you a rough overview so that, so that you are, should be able to make a small program and to cut with a program with this introduction. After you have switched on the machine, the machine will come up with this screen with the last program you have cut it. So for cutting I will give you a rough explanation about the really essential buttons. First of all here with the engine if you press that button you can switch on the main drive and the blower. And here you can switch between table light and with a cut line indicator or you can switch everything off. To activate a cutting program you have to use this button and then for getting to the first program line you are tapping on the first line in the program and on backgauge go and there you go. I'm now on the first line and I can straight uh, go and cut my material. Now, to make a program, we cancel this program and to make a new program, I'm going into Program Overview. That's this button with a P, P for Program Overview. Um, I will be put on the first vacant number, which is the 22. We have two different sections, A and B. Switching is very easy. I just have to tap on A and then I'm in memory bank A. And there we have the first vacant program number 235. If I want to take that I simply press on the equal and I have an empty program now. Now there's many different choices to, to program a program. Um, I simply can put in the values. Let's take something simple 71 centimeter um, on the long side let's take 101 and then 70 and 100 so now I have a four side angular trim cut but I have no additional functions on the program not very ergonomic I have no ejector travels to bring the paper forward to me so that it is easier for me to grasp the material, the ream. To do that 
it's as well quite simple. I have to make changes to the program now. If I want to do that, I need first of all the edit button to be switched on and the correction button. That's this button here. And now I can either I can correct my my cutting position or I can add additional or add or delete additional functions. On the first cut automatic knife prepared would be a nice one. Complete air table on would be logic because I want to load the machine and lay guide correction one would be as well helpful. On the second cutting line we do almost the same automatic knife prepared, complete air table on and lay guide correction two. Third step I need at least automatic knife air and air on. Don't worry and if you think the machine control is too slow to follow your touches, it will still do it. Automatic uh, so if I want to go on with programming I can straight do the next cutting step. There's another very helpful button. You see the nominal position here is not changing. I'm now at 72.24 but this is not changing. If I press enter I'm programming again the 100. To get this copy to that, that's this button with a knife, the simplified knife and an 8 and a small arrow. Now you see it's following the back gauge here. I've used the hand wheel, now I'm on the display. I have a slow movement and fast movement button. I can straight away add additional functions and then when I press enter I get the next line in the program. Next important step would be to give a program a name that's easy as well on the next button here this is the D stands for data sheet I for program information and this is my keyboard for letters I just tap on it and I get that a little bit bigger I just name it test drive enter if you want to change the name afterwards you will note that my keyboard is gone now. I have to press first correction and then the keyboard is there I can enlarge it and then I can override or change my program name. Going back to data sheet here you go there's your program. What else is essential? Um, Maybe machine parameters is as well quite important. There's a lot of bits and pieces about the back gauge speed to set that up. But this one is the most important one. Pressing time before cut. Um, this, that is the time the clamp bar goes down and then the time before the knife gets the signal to start cutting. If this time is too short, for example if I go on one, the knife action after pressing, after activating the clamping bar is very very quick and especially on paper which you can compress a lot like thin paper, 30 GSM or 60 GSM, um, it would be a bad idea to go on one because it might happen the blade is already inside the cutting the paper but the clamping pressure is not built up fully so to give this a two or three is a good idea unless you have really something very stiff like for example art paper. Art paper you can't compress a lot so on art paper the one would be okay. Yeah, I'm taking a quick look, but I think that is the most essential functions to enable you to make your first cutting program on the N plus generation.
This is a general introduction video for the Polar and Pro generation. So when you switch on the machine, the first screen which will come up is this screen and I can log in now. I just tap on my name and then I have to enter my password. If there's a password, it's possible to assign a user account as well without a password. In my case, it's with a password. And I'm coming to this screen, which is the main menu. You can see on the upper left corner where you are. This is main menu. And maybe a bit unusual is that to go into a program, I can tap on the text here. Normally, everyone would expect that these are clearly buttons where I can tap on, but as well, the machine will react on if I'm touching on text. For example, this is the order name and this is the program name. There's always an order and a program inside that order. When I touch on that, the program is opening. I'm now, I'm now in the order tutorials and in the program combination. Next thing is there's no numeric keyboard available. Sometimes it's hidden. To get it up again, I just have to tap on the back gauge value and then I have my keyboard back on the screen. To show you a little bit more, I'm creating a short program. To make a new program, I tap on Tutorials Combination. I can make a new cut program now in this picture, but that would mean I would add another program in the order tutorials. You can see the order is tutorial and the programs are combination, ultratac, corrections, AT test, front table, block program, parameter, program parameter, and so on. So it's quite a long list. If I go on order directory, I can say new order. Now I'm creating a new order. Let's say I'm deleting the last um, letters there, for it's two, enter. Now I have an order named tutorials two, which is at the moment, because it's new, empty. I'm creating a new cut program. I'm just giving it the name start. And on the screen, nothing really happens. I have to touch on my new created program name, start, and then I'm in my so far empty program. I could start with the first step. Um, for example, maybe I want to have a jogging mark as a beginning point. So I tap on jogging mark. You can see the machine has added this icon now. The value could be 30 centimeters, 30 centimeters. And the machine is automatically switching to the next button here for the additional functions. For the first step, it would be nice to have the air on. So I'm adding the air. And that could be everything. So I hit enter. I have my first line in the program. Next thing would be the um, first cut position, which could be, for example, 69. I would like to have automatic knife ready, um, the air on, yes, because I have to realign my material, lay guide adjustment one makes sense, auto trim, if I have a machine with auto trim, would make sense to have the first trim cut with auto trim, swivel back gauge I can switch on and I can slide, scroll down here, what else, no, the rest I don't want to program with this cut, enter, and I have the second line and the first cut position. Next thing could be 
99 centimeter lay guide adjustment 2 auto trim what else do we have switch on air would make sense automatic knife ready and swivel back gauge yeah let's create some more cuts uh, 68 uh, and 98 so I have a four side trim cut now and the machine is automatically making an ejector travel when the next value is larger so here I get an ejector travel here not because the value is shorter so it could make sense to put in between 99 and 68 an ejector travel very easy if you make a double touch on one position everything is moved down and a new line is opened so i can say yes programmable ejector and the value could be 40 centimeter and it would make sense to have the air on and that's it next thing could be maybe i can enlarge this a little bit to see my additional functions i can see for the actual line here but to see the whole program it could make sense to open up here a little bit by touching on this button i would like to have automatic knife prepared on every cut position so i could tap on this line and put automatic knife ready and here automatic knife ready done but if you think of if i have a very long program that's a long way long work to do that I can mark the whole program in one go with this button. I can mark single lines if I would like to. I can slide. That's not working so well because some lines have been marked already. When nothing is marked, you see that's easy. And if I tap above this um, green line here, everything is marked in one go and then I can say okay taking off automatic knife ready for every cut position or to put it on very quick next thing which is very useful is to know that I'm just tapping underneath my program and a new line is opening and sometimes especially me i prefer to move the back gauge sometimes to a position and to program that cut now depending on what you have done before it could happen that this value is not moving i'm programming from this value so if that is not moving together with the back gauge you have this button if this button is switched on always actual position of the back gauge is copied to this position if I switch that off still it's moving but sometimes it's not moving and then I have a problem still doing that yeah and when that position is okay to me I can either add an additional function like automatic knife ready I, and I can see that here and I can program that. Yeah, and again, if for whatever reason sometimes this numeric keypad is hidden, I can get it here by touching on the back gauge value. And my small problem now is that I don't have an enter button here. If that is the case, just tap one time on this line here and the enter button is coming up and i can straight away program that yeah what else do we have we have here our step types like jogging mark programmable ejector pressing without cut and ultra tuck so the repeat function here we have the additional functions here we have the machine parameters 
behind that button. Here we have if the machine is equipped with that, the functions for a turning gripper. We have here some user defined functions. Now the picture is a little bit in the way, so I will hide that. Here you can put on some additional functions, a group of additional functions. So, for example, if I tap on the one, I'm getting air front table on. This is for jogging mark, that is retractable side gauge right and left down. And the six and the three in combination is to feed the machine via rear table, and this is um, ejector travel off. So that could be a very helpful function to program them. And uh, you can see that in a different tutorial, which is available as well. Yeah, what else do we have? Um, we have maybe interesting, if you have started a program, which you are doing here, I go to the position, so now it's moving to 99, where I have started my program. For example, if I want to change this cut position, if you switch on this button by correcting with the help of the hand wheel, you can change the position and the machine will um, store this to the program when you do the cutting. I will not do that at the moment because my camera is standing right in front of the machine and I can see here that auto trim is programmed on this cut so we will take auto trim off just that I can show you um, or we can go for example here that's even more easy 68 so now when this button is on and I'm correcting my position. The change is instantly recorded to the program. You can see that here. For learning what possibilities we have to correct the cut position, because there's more to learn. We have some buttons here. We have lay guide correction, which you can see then here. There's a different tutorial for that available as well. I'm stopping the program. Here I have my button for switching the uh, blower on and off. This here is to go back to the main menu. If I press on this button, I'm back to the main menu where I can find as well the help for knife change with some animations to help me. For the knife change and machine setup is here machine parameters i can create a new order and again tapping here i'm jumping in my program if i want to change the machine from centimeter to whatever it is i can tap instantly on centimeter for example you might would like to have to go to inch and instantly everything is changed to inch.